My name is Brad Hunt. I'm from uh, Southern California from a town called Lindora. This is my, let's see, sixth semester up here at BYU-Idaho. I am a business entrepreneurship major. Um, but getting started, um, the first idea that I came up with, um, I've always gone to campfires, always brought my truck. Um, and what would happen is we'd always light the fire, back up my truck, and we'd drop the tailgate. And we'd always take a seat and be all surrounded around the campfire. But after a while, after bending over for so longer, so long, my back would just start to hurt. So I don't know, I just thought of an idea of how to fix this problem um, where you would install a type of seat that goes is built into the tailgate. So whenever you pop down the tailgate and want to sit on the tailgate, you have a chair that pops up and allows you to sit there. Um, the target market on this would obviously be all trucks, whether that's Chevys, Fords, Toyotas, whatever it may be. Um, this is something of an idea that I would want to get obviously made and then I would sell to one of these companies. Right now, I have never heard of anything like this, um, so I do not believe there's any competition with it. Um, the team that I would need would obviously be the financing team, I guess you could sort of say. Um, I would need some investments to really get the money to back this and really obviously get the prototype made, built, and fitted onto whatever type of truck it may be. Uh, the second idea that I thought of was I've always lost my wallet. I'm always losing it. Last night I was with my roommates and I could not find my wallet this morning. And for some reason it was under the couch. The solution to this, um, I know they make Find My iPhone apps. Um, if you ever lose, lose your phone gets stolen, uh, whatever it may be, you just open up the app and it tells you exactly where it is. Um, and my idea was that you would get your wallet and inside your new wallet, you have a little chip and with this chip it allows you to go into your app if you ever lose it and it will show you exactly where your wallet may be. Um, I have never ever heard of this type of technology in a wallet. I've looked it up, tried to buy one myself um, and I figured why not just make one. Um, the competition for this, like I said, I am I am from anyone who's making any of these. Um, I know the technology is out there, obviously it's on our phones. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, how advanced the technology would have to be to be inside that wallet, um, but I'm sure it can be done. Um, the team would obviously just need to be um, some people that would obviously believe in the dream and I'd need some investors. <laughs> but the final idea was a balloon idea that I had when I was younger. Um, I remember balloons, they're pretty basic. You go to a birthday party, a wedding, you go to any type of party, there's always balloons. Uh, balloons are always the same. They always have pictures of everything, whatever it may be. Um, happy birthday it may have a picture of football, baseball. It's always printed on. And the idea that I had was why not make actual floating sports balloons? I'm a big sports guy. I love sports and I always think they're cool to actually have a football floating instead of printed on pictures of some type of balloons. Um, as far as I know, they don't make them. The competition is very big though. The balloon market is it's pretty big. Um, wherever you go, you're going to find balloons. They're mass produced in China. Um, the team that I would have with this is I would just need some connections. Um, I know my dad knows people in China that mass distribute anything that you want to mass distribute. You just let them know and they'll get to prototyping it. Um, this is something that I would work with him on that. Um, I've talked to him about it and he's all for it. It's just never really come through until now deciding on making talking about ideas of businesses that could possibly I could venture into. But uh, those are my three ideas. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you.